Welcome to the Royal Trial. Hello and welcome back to Yes, Your Grace. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. It is now time for us to attempt to prove our innocence. I don't know whether we can do it, but we're going to try our very best, nevertheless. All right, we will firstly question any witnesses that have a say in the matter. Then we shall go through gathered evidence. And lastly, we will identify the killer. Some of you are suspects, and I have the right to believe that the real perpetrator is amongst us tonight. And with that, let's hear what witnesses have to say. Your Grace, we have two, no, three people enlisted as witnesses. Who shall we start with? Alright, let's see. Talus is advisor, Talus is castle guard, a peasant from Branca. Let's start with the peasant. The peasant from Branca? Come up. Okay, here he comes. Tell us your name and where you are from. Name's Herma. I'm from Lord Etton's town, Branca, your grace. And what do you have to say? I own a vineyard in Branca. We have been observing Lord Etton for a while now. He has been acting so strange. Walking around the village in a trance. How dare you tell such falsehoods? Calm down, Etton. One time he pissed all over my grape flowers and none of my grapes will grow now. How rude. He is not a nice man, your grace. I'm convinced it was him who poisoned Talis. Is this all, Hermar? Well, what more do you need? Just get rid of him. Who's next? Alright, so he's, it's obvious that he's got a bit of a grudge because Etten is a bit of an oaf. We know that. Anyway, Talis' castle guard. Talis' guard, come forth. Please state your name and tell us what you have to say. My name is Lutfrid, your grace. I was King Talus's guard and I served him well. Not well enough, I can hear you say. But know that there was little I could do against poison, especially one that works so fast. The day King Talus died was a day of shame and guilt for me, and King Ivo is continuing to make me pay the price. To the point... All I've wanted to say is that I've witnessed many people visiting Talis over the years, but none angered him as much as Noxy. I know we all know how much of a liar he is. I am no liar. Who are you to shame me in front of the kings? Well, we know that he's kind of... He kind of embellishes things a bit. Order! Talis called him a deceiver after he proposed to help his wife Paloma. Talus knew the only reason Noxy offered his help was to become famous for something he didn't do. Ah, there you go. Noxy was enraged, claiming he wasn't a fraud and that he would show Talus. I see. I do not have any questions. Let's proceed. Alright, well, it's, I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's pointing towards Lord Etten at the moment. I personally felt at the very, very beginning that it might be him. But, we'll see. King Talus' own advisor. Let's have a look. Please state your name and tell us what you have to say. The name's Rigo. I was an advisor to King Talus. I have a very important piece of information, Your Grace. I recognize Lady Lena over here. She visited our castle not long before the royal wedding and threatened King Talus. She said her son was supposed to be the one to marry Lorsulia, not Ivo. She said that if the wedding were to go ahead, she would come for Talus and his family. We must proceed accordingly, Your Grace. She is clearly the perpetrator. Lies. Shush, you will all get to speak at the end, Lady Lena. Thank you, Rigo. This was very useful. Was it? Was it really? Ugh. I think these are all the witnesses we have. Okay, so could we have gotten more witnesses? Probably. We probably could have gotten more witnesses. Let's proceed to the gathered evidence. Right, so let's start with the animal tooth. An item so rare, only one known person could have returned from such an encounter alive. No, see the dragon slayer. Please step forward. I don't think it's him, personally. The tooth was examined, and only one creature fits this unique shape. An ala demon from the far lands of Kaladur. And who else could have traveled there and back other than the noble knight of honor? Whether Noxi slew the beast or not, 
He must have worn this charm around his neck as one of his storytelling props. This animal tooth was found in the wine cellar. This is where Noxi could have poured poison in our wine. He wanted to help Talus's wife, Paloma, but the king shamed him instead. Noxi couldn't bear the feeling of rejection, and so he planned to murder King Talus. Lies! I am truly a man of honor and never do such a thing. King Talus made a fool of me that day, that is true, but I left his castle as ordered. In no way does this prove I killed King Talus, only that I have been to the wine cellar, which I'm not denying. And why would you be sneaking around Grevno Castle? I was just looking for a quiet place. Um, to talk to Lady Lona, Sir Friedrich's widow. Well, when we talked, she must have pulled it off my neck. It was a very fascinating conversation. So, you admit this item belongs to you? No, uh, well, it, it could be mine. I don't know, I have a lot of these things around my neck, but I swear I didn't do anything to the wine. That's enough. Back to the king. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally, I am pretty sure that Noxy did not do it. I think he's, he, he's probably, you know, he is someone that embellishes the truth quite a lot. Uh, but I don't think that he is inherently a bad person. I think in general he he just has um, I mean, he's lost his way a little. But I don't think he's evil in the way that he wants to kill someone. Uh, anyway, a decorated letter. This scribe includes instructions detailing the usage of the poison in a map of our castle. It has a very specific decorated pattern which matches only one lord who attended the wedding. Lady Lena, please step forward. All right, so it's obviously Lady Lena because she she knows about, you know, decorating letters in such an elegant way. I believe Lady Lena was the only northern visitor on the wedding night. The letter was found hidden beneath a paving stone in our gardens. The drawings on the letter depict a rowan tree, a symbol of protection against curses, a tree from which lords build their children's cradles to protect them against evil spirits. Lady Lena's boy was cursed, so she used these symbols to try to chase the demons away. There is no question as to who wrote this letter. Lady Lena also seems to have a very good motive for wanting to kill Talos. She threatened to kill him if the wedding took place, and it did. I would never do such a thing, Your Grace. I might have had cold feelings towards King Talos, but there's a big difference between not liking someone and killing him at his son's wedding. Besides, if I wanted my son to marry Losulia, would it not have been better to kill Ivo? Killing his father would make no difference either way. Do you admit that this parchment came from your kingdom? No, we don't decorate our letters with rowan trees, but roses. That's enough. Back to the king. Okay, so, I, I again, I don't think it was Lady Lena, personally. I think that, in general, yes, probably, you know, her house or her, her kingdom or faction or whatever you want to call it probably do decorate their letters with roses but they are, are they obviously do decorate them with, with something and I would assume that it is a northern person that did send that letter but we don't know who the poison file with the very substance still inside we are certain that this belonged to the person who poisoned King Talus Lord Etten please step forward all right I'm leaning towards Etten at the moment but we'll see what happens here it is common knowledge amongst the royal heads that you have access to all sorts of poisonous substances. Our tests indicate that the substance from the file matches the one used to poison King Talus. Not only that, but it was found near Branca, a village under your control. Talus was against the dust trade, and as we have found out from Lord Lurs, you two were not on the best terms. With Talus's death, weaker borders with Atana might make it easier for you to distribute the dust beyond Davern. By poisoning King Talus, you plan to expand your business. Isn't that the truth? Based on Hermar's testimony, even your own residents know you're up to no good. Nonsense. I may be running a little side business, but this product can now be found literally anywhere. Even markets in Davern are full of distributors. The file does not prove that I was the one who poisoned Talus. This could have been anyone. Enough. Back to the king. Well, there's no more evidence, unfortunately. And what is uh, Audrey going to say? <clears throat> There's no clear answer here, Your Grace. We have to sentence someone, anyone, or else Ivo will put all the blame on you. We did the best we could. It's just politics at this stage. You might want to consider the benefits you gain from each lord, if any. 
If we sentence someone without a lot of evidence against them, though, then our people will sense that it was just a royal whim. I can handle this, Audrey. Can I? No. Based on the evidence, or lack thereof, I sentence... Hmm. Those are the choices, hey? Okay, so I obviously did a bad job. I, I think I did a pretty bad job with the uh, asking of people, but I, I thought that I... Didn't I ask everyone to come to the uh, the throne room? I Didn't I ask all of the lords and then ask them about all of the evidence and everything? So surely I should have all of the information. Per personally, I'm not getting anything from Lord Etten and I'm not getting anything from Noxie, but I do not believe Noxie, as I've said before, is inherently evil. And I do think that Lord Etten had a reason for calling for the toast. So I'm going to sentence Lord Etten here. I could sentence no one, but as Audrey said, that is going to anger Ivo. And that's not good, is it? Especially with the Rodovians breathing down our necks. Lord Etten, our Uncle Dust is a dangerous substance. You are responsible for the death of King Talos. I sentence you to die. This is ridiculous. My people will come for you, Eric. Eric, King of Davern. You have found the one responsible for my father's death. The outcome of this trial is satisfactory for me, and as such, Atana's forces will aid you in your struggle against Rodovia. Three thousand men will be ready to strike when you blow the horn, signaling my men to ambush the enemy. Such is my will. Right. Well, there you go. Apparently, uh, well, apparently that was sufficient for him. Later this evening. Ah, there we go. There's Lorsulia. It's so nice to see her again, isn't it? You always love this view. Is this the place where the battle will take place? Oh, yeah. Is this where the battle will take place? Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Do you see? Right there in the middle, there's a tight trail leading through. That's where we will hold them off. It's strange. Turns out I was always staring into the end of it all. Hey, hey. Nothing ends. With Ivo's help, we will be victorious. If, if he helps. You were at the trial. You heard what he said. He will keep his father's promise. Everything will be fine. Let's not worry about that for a second. Or many seconds. A lot of things have happened since you left, you know. Alright, so, uh... I, I assume we can ask about all of these things. So I'm just going to say, have you heard of Maya? Asalia found a new friend. It turns out she was from Rodovia, so your mother expelled her from the castle. She's always... she always keeps interesting company. Has she grown up, or is she still a mess? I don't think she'll ever change. <laughs> still gives me a lot of trouble, that one. The other night she pulled another of her pranks, this time on your sister. Asalia doesn't spare anyone. Sadani found new pets. Sadani keeps finding more and more ridiculous pets. She can't quite find a replacement for Dusty. Last time I was here, she had a snail. What was it? Smudge. Smudge. She gave me a hard time about it. I won't forget that. There was also a hedgehog, a fox. I'm worried what she will tame next. Your mother is pregnant. We had our fair share of stress with your mother, too. She's pregnant. You will have a sibling. Congratulations, I guess. It's hard to imagine what she must be going through with the battle on the horizon. Okay. Your husband must be looking for you. I suppose. I miss you. All of you. So, so much. Uh, well, we miss you, too. Absolutely. Come over here. Yes, hugs for all. That's what we like. Does she not want to say anything else? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Bruises. Are you serious right now? Bruises? Ivo is doing all this to you? What? Oh, no, he wouldn't. He's very kind, he's good to me, he takes care of me. Just like I told you in the letters. Father, father, please don't tell him. He's the king of Atana now. He has an army that will blindly follow him, even to your gates. Don't say anything. It's better that way. He has better and worse days. Don't anger him more, please. I can't let this bastard treat you like this. I will talk some sense into him. Please, don't. Oh, there he is. Throw him off the wall. <laughs> Throw him off the wall. That's what we'll do. <laughs> there you are. Pack up your things. We're going. Father. Confront. Easy decision. You pipsqueak, you think you wear the crown on your head and you can do whatever you want? What lies did you tell your father this time? 
Are you plotting against me again, Losulia? I didn't say anything, I promise. She has nothing to do with it. Do you think I can't see what you do to her? You lay hands on my daughter again, I swear I'm going to... What? Defeat Rodovia all by yourself? I think you're forgetting your position here, Eric. I give you my army, and thanks to me, this castle will see another day. You do not tell me what I can or cannot do. Davon is at my mercy, so you'd better address me with proper respect. Uh, I'm not saying yes, you're gr No way. Say nothing. Better leave off here. Too much talking will get you and your family in trouble. We're leaving you, Losulia, before I change my mind. Do I, can I not- can I not punch him? Can I not punch him? Fisty cuffs? A little bit of fisty cuffs? I would be happy to do that, but apparently I am unable to. Mm, kind of upsetting, is it not? Okay, let us continue onward. So, this is it. Battle between Davern and Rodovia, foothills of the Grey Mountains. Okay, let's see how we go. It appears that we're late. Rodovia has already managed to build up some defense. We will need to push them back and create a choke point at the hills. The sky is looking clear. That's good, at least something works in our favor. Here, come with me, your grace. Oh, okay, well, we gathered everyone we could. We will advance on your mark. Okay, well, let's do it. Uh, do I have to do anything in terms of strategy? Wait a minute. Oh, I can actually walk around and stuff. Oh, okay. So I can speak to, uh, Ve Velek? I have no idea who Velek is. My mind's sharp. Oh, oh, that's the, that's the hunter. Oh, okay, that's the hunter. Fantastic. At your service, your grace. Pikeman. On pikes can stop any charging enemy, your grace. And potions, magic, whatever you need, your grace. Okay, fantastic. Okay, uh, oh, battlefield. Wait a minute. Soon everything starts. Is there anything that I can do here? Is there anything that I need to do? I can blow the horn? Awaiting orders, your grace. Ah, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Preparations. How is it looking? We shouldn't make watch, wait much longer. Once we start, there's no way back. We, we have to defeat the enemy before our army is entirely depleted. I would suggest we make a reserve army. Right, reserve. You mentioned a reserve army. Right, we would get a small chunk of our main force and set it aside. A reserve can be used to exploit Rodovia's sudden mistakes or to act upon nasty surprises they throw our way. Should we create a reserve? Yes, that's a good idea. Very well, let's do it, why not? Okay, there's the reserve. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so what else can we do? Archers. Archers! Yeah, I've seen the archers are getting ready. Once the battle has started, the archers will be ready for your command. Okay, so what about Atana? What about the horn? We can use it to sound for Atana. I suggest we use it only if necessary to create an element of surprise. Okay, so can I not do anything with the pikemen? Did they, I mean the pikemen are right here? So I I guess uh, wait a minute. Let, let's actually just uh, have a look here. Can I? No, there's nothing else that I can do here. All right, it's time. Do not fear, my brothers. Today is not the day we fall, for we have made strong allies, and in our time of doubt, we need to remember that we are not here alone. But we won't need them today, for this is Davern, and we stand our ground. Aye, for Davern. Let's show them. We'll surprise them. Yes, well, we have 918. We apparently have 918. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. I would have actually expected... Uh, ready for orders. Oh, okay. Can I... Is there anything that I need to do, actually? Or can I... Can I just... Can I just wait? I assume I just wait, right? Okay, can I speak? Archers should take a good chunk of their forces. Everything is under control. All right. We're here if you need us. Okay, our bikes are sharp and ready. Okay, great. My unit can help. I've trained them myself. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's fine then. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, await my orders. I, oh, shall we, shall, we just, shall we just use the archers immediately? Yeah, maybe we should just use the archers immediately. Prepare. You know what to do. Getting ready. All right, you go off and do that. Oh, nice. Okay, so we took out 40 of them. Okay, so we actually have a bunch of other archers as well. So, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do another little bit. I thought I had more than 918, personally. I thought I had 980 or something along those lines, but maybe I lost more than I actually anticipated. But oh well. Let's just use all of our archers for the moment. 
Let's see how it goes. Okay, nice, nice. So they now have 880 remaining. I'm sure something else is going to happen. Yep, there's magic. They're using magic against us. We're going to lose a huge amount of units from this, no doubt. What's this? Oh, wow. Now we can't see the battlefield. Your grace, magic. The fog is obstructing our view. Yeah, that's actually pretty pretty bad. We have no idea what is happening down there. We need to send support immediately. Say the word and we'll charge in there with our spears, your grace. And how do you plan to see who is who to attack? The fog is so thick it fills in my lungs. Not to mention what it must be like down there. One shouldn't rely on vision, perhaps, but perhaps other senses could help. Unless there was a way to fight magic with magic. You must choose a unit to send out. Okay, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. We have to use the witch, surely? I've never seen such magic, your grace. I can try clearing it out, but it may take a while. Do your magic, Elena. I'll do my best. Okay, yes, that's, I think that's, I mean, come on, that has to be the best. Wow, look at, look at the enemy. The enemy has lost so many units. Oh, and now they have completely surrounded us and they have 2,000. How is this possible? We're outnumbered. Blow the horn, you fools. Okay, so do I have to do everything myself? Okay, yeah, so I'll blow the horn then, I guess. Oh, wow, well, that was, that was pretty bad. Archers, yes, there we go. There's the, there's the archers coming back. Awaiting orders. Okay, so now I can use the now I can use the archers again. I don't think the archers are really going to be able to do that much. And personally, I feel like now that I've confronted Ivo, I am probably going to end up losing. To be fair, I think I think I'm probably going to end up losing. That's just the way of things. I don't think uh, I think if I had not confronted him, then I probably would have had his support. But I personally don't think he's going to arrive. Oh. Oh, they brought in cavalry. The fog is gone. We thought we could get an edge, but they brought monsters. They ride armored bisons. Okay, well, let's send in the pikemen. Foul beasts are ravaging our army. We need to keep it together. More men on the battlefield could help swarm the enemy, your grace. It could also mean, mean more men can die. Hefty bodies and sharp long horns. The hooves that can crush a man's skull. Not all units are equipped to deal with enemy cavalry. Perhaps we could use a, be a professional to hunt them down. Who should we send out? Should I s literally send out... Uh, I mean, I could use pikemen. Pikemen are pretty good, no? Yeah, let's let's send out the pikemen. Keep close and the cavalry won't stand a chance. Charge with speed and create momentum. Let's see if that actually helps. Did it work? I, uh... By the gods, where's Atana? Are they deaf? Blow the horn again. I think I don't think they're coming. Personally. Archers, yeah. I I, I personally don't think that uh, Ivo is coming. To be honest, I think that in general, as I said, if I did, maybe if I maybe I don't know. Maybe if I did confront him, maybe he uh, maybe he will still help us. But uh, I'm gonna say it's probably unlikely. There we go. A little bit more. They have a very large army, though, Rodovia, don't they? I'm actually thinking that I'm probably going to end up losing, to be honest, right now, at this point. A letter, Your Grace. Help isn't coming. Yep, as I thought. Lorsulia, that was, uh, that was Lorsulia sending us the letter, I assume. This must be falsehood. We had a deal. And now we have something else happening. Your Grace, that's not all. Oh, we have more, f more fire. Oh. These are not fire arrows, it's magic. Creatures made of flames. Oh dear. Magical fog, monsters, and now more magic? We should run right through the flames and burn alive. Focusing on defense should be most important at this stage, Your Grace. Good organization on the battlefield could also be the key to this situation. Who should we send out then? Well, I assume we should send out our reserve forces. Or Stan? Uh... Our men won't be able to handle the fire well. Hmm. So who... The fire's too big. My skills are not a match for this. So our reserves? We can aid our brothers, though. Give them all you've got. Okay, let's do it. Uh, yeah, that... That didn't go too well, did it? Darn it! Despite what the letter says, we need to try the horn again. I... I personally, I don't think it's worth it, but... If he says we got to use it again, then I guess we'll just try and see what happens. Nothing. Yeah, I think help isn't coming. And now there's rain. Oh, fantastic. That means it's going to put out the fire. 
Rain, haha, archers. There we go. Okay, so we might be able to send out Stan now, and he might actually. We're the last squad. All right. We might be able to send out Stan now, and uh, maybe Velek as well, and uh, they might be able to get us a little bit closer to victory. I'm surprised that the archers don't do that much. Personally. We can't last much longer, your graves, and then there's no sign of a Tana. The letter was right. What else is there? They just keep on coming. It's been an honor, your grace. Uh, what is, what, what is that? Are you serious? A siege engine? This is not the end. This is not the... Oh. Some kind of monstrous device? We have no other choice. We have to send everyone in. Gather round. All right, so everyone's going to go in now. Let's show them. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah. Okay. They've shown us the unfamiliar. We've seen beasts, magic, but they haven't yet seen what we have in store. Show them what Davern is made of. Give them hell. All right. Yeah. Let's 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 try. On my order. Let's let's try it. All right. Uh, I don't think we can make it. it. That's what he says. Really. Yeah. Okay. So go go for it, Stan. I I I think we're I think we're done. Yeah, Stan didn't really didn't really do too much. Am I gonna send Audrey as well? Is Audrey literally gonna go out there and fight? Unlikely. This is it, your grace. We gave them all we've got. We can't take any more. Oh, there you go. Oh, what? Now there's an avalanche? Are you serious? Now there's an avalanche coming in? Okay. Well, I would not have anticipated that. Look at that. We actually we actually won. Wow. We won by 20 combat strength. I think that was... I, I don't think anything that I did would have actually made any difference in that particular battle, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway. We have survived. Just about. Just about. And there's my army. Look at my army right now. My upkeep is literally zero. That is actually kind of crazy. All right. So, yeah, I, I guess save and continue. Save and continue. We'll see what happens now. Grevno, week 31. All right, so uh, we have a pigeon. Lady Lena is here. I think I'm probably going to say to Lady Lena that I'm not going to uh, have Asalia marry her son personally because, as we've seen, magic is very much real. We know that. We were extremely lucky to win that battle. We have lost most of our men. If not for that avalanche, we would have certainly been defeated. I know, we must really be in the gods' favor. We need to focus on strengthening our army. I don't know if I'd ever forgive myself if this castle was destroyed. What are we going to do about Ivo, your grace? I don't know yet. Right, well... I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, then by all means let me know. I think we I think we all know that I'm going to continue because I'm having a lot of fun. I want to see what happens. I'm sure you do too. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.